Hi! I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing something different for my intro. Was that weird? That was weird, right? Uh, just ignore it. Anyway, my name is Jasmine, and I blog over at runjasminerun.blogspot.com. One day I'll buy my domain, and it will just be Run Jasmine Run. But, yeah. So, it's the last Friday of the month. And like we always do here at runjasminerun.blogspot.com, I do a vlog post about my fun Friday five. Five, not ten. Five, Jasmine. You know your numbers. Um, for the month of September. So I did not go and do my normal you know, Facebook post or Instagram post saying, hey, give me some questions. Because I have a lot of questions from like the last few months that I still haven't answered. And people are giving me slack about it. So here I am to answer those questions. Uh, I picked a random five from the last three months. I don't really know how long I've been doing this. Three, four months? September, right? Let's just say four months that I've been doing this. So I went ahead, I wrote them down, I'm going to answer them. If I still haven't answered your question, I'm sorry. I'm going to try to incorporate the older questions into others. And since I'm here on camera, I had someone ask me a question as to why I always wear this fleece. And it's not because I don't have any other clothes, people. I have a freaking closet full of clothes. It's because it's my favorite fleece. It's comfortable, it fits just right, it's got pockets, and I'm always cold because I'm brown and I'm uh, native to tropical weather and I'm in the Midwest freezing my butt off. But anyway, let's get down to the questions, okay? Shall we? Let's do it. All right, first question. Have you ever been in a car accident? Yes, and because I've experienced this in my lifetime, it plays into a lot of anxiety and condo lock fear I have while driving. I do not like driving. Thank God my husband, Mark, is like, he loves driving because I hate driving. It stresses me out, it gives me anxiety. Don't ever ask me to drive you anywhere, please. Unless it's a dire emergency, like you gotta go to the hospital, we're gonna go by foot, we're gonna run there, we're gonna cycle there. Mm -mm, I'm not driving. Uh, so let me tell you why I have such fear <laughs> of driving. Uh, in high school, it, yeah, in high school, I don't know what year it was, probably senior year, we had off camp. We had off campus lunch at our high school, and we used to go to, um, you know, each other's houses to save money instead of like going out to eat. And we always went to Brian's house because Brian. You always have the good lunch stuff. We went to Brian's house, and after having lunch at Brian's house, we decided to, well, we didn't decide to. We had to go back to school, unfortunately. But we hopped into his car, and we started to head back to school. Now, I don't really remember the sequence of events that happened with this car that made that hit us and spun out the car that we were in, because it happened so fast. But all I remember is the car spinning and then stopping right in front of oncoming traffic. And I kid you not when I said I saw my whole life flash before me. Like, like I saw baby Jasmine. I saw learning how to walk Jasmine. I remember riding my own, you know, two-wheeler two bike. Like, it was, like, crazy how much you like freak out and see your life flash before you when oncoming traffic is about to hit you. But luckily, my friend Brian is a really good driver and he was able to turn the car around really fast and like cut it to like the side of the road and we were all sitting in the car like holy sh like bad words and stuff and and the guy who made who hit us and make made our car spin out just like freaking left he just didn't even stop nothing so we had to go to our high school or we had to go to our high school <sighs> i can't talk today 
we have to go to the police station and fill out a report and get, you know, some passes from the police stating to our teachers, we really did get into an accident. This is not a joke, like my dog ate my homework or anything, this physically happened. And yeah, that experience is what traumatized me a little bit to where I'm like super scared of driving still. Yeah, so. All right, on to the next question. What was the weirdest prank call you ever made? I don't ever make prank calls because I think it's really mean, but I've had a lot of prank calls happen to me. Right, mean uncle? Yeah, my uncle. We call him the mean uncle because he's the biggest prankster in our family, and he did this elaborate scheme, which if I can find, because I, I think he uploaded the whole scenario to YouTube, so now everybody knows that I'm the person who got pranked. Damn it. <laughs> but anyway, what he did is he has, he had like an app or something on his phone. Well, first off, he was coming to Florida. He lives in Chicago. He was coming to Florida to visit our family, and I didn't know. Everybody else knew, even some of my friends knew, but I didn't know. And he has this app on his, on his phone that, um, like, you can text from, but it gives them, like, a different, gives me, like, a different number. And the area code for that text was the same one as my grandma's area code where she lived in, in Illinois. And then there was, like, this whole thing where my mom is like, your grandma's coming to my work and she's going to make, it's, I don't even want to go into it because it's, like, a family dramafication thing. And I'm just like, bleh, whatever, I don't want to. Do I don't want to say nothing mean about my family, but ultimately I was pranked. I found out later that it was my uncle. He had me screaming at the top of my lungs in my apartment as he was banging on the door, who I thought was my grandma at the time, and with my mom who was crying, laughing, and videotaping it from her phone. And I thought she was just holding her phone up and she was literally like crying because there was about to be some family drama happening in my house. And no, it was my uncle. It was my effing uncle pounding on the door. I really hope our neighbors didn't hate us after that because he came in laughing his butt off. I was so mad. I am going to see if I can find the link or if it's still up on YouTube because there's like what my mom filmed inside my house and what my dad filmed outside of the door as my uncle's banging on it. So yeah, I'm gullible. People like to prank me. I don't prank people because I'm nice. Mean uncle. On to the next question because I'm getting frustrated. My contact's coming out. Um, three, best compliment you've ever received. Um, I guess the one that I really, like, it touched my heart and my soul is uh, when people say that uh, I really like that you're true to yourself. I think that is a really nice compliment for me because it took me a long time to realize who I am who I want to be and that I become very stubborn with like me like I am unapologetically me and if people don't like that whatever and I'm not going to mold myself into whatever anybody else wants me to be I'm very happy as Jasmine Santiago Tracy okay uh, and number four did I answer that question number three? Was that right? That I'm happy or I, the nicest compliment is uh, people say I like how you are, who you, who you portray yourself as because nobody likes fake ass people, okay? God, it's like an ongoing theme in my life, fake ass people. I don't like fake ass people, therefore I'm not going to act fake to people. Don't act fake to me. There we go. All right, number four, what is your greatest strength and weakness? I think number three kind of answered strength is that I know who I am, I know my morals and values, and I will never compromise them for anybody, period. And my weakness, this is something that I worked on very hard this year because I, it 
came and bit me in the booty, <laughs> ultimately, and that is, um, I don't want to say it's like a white lie, but more like sugarcoating truths to people because I didn't want them to take what I was saying harshly. Because I do have, I have in the past been very harsh with people with the truth where they couldn't handle it and it like really hurt them. So I was like, okay, so let me go on the opposite spectrum. And then on that spectrum where you sugarcoat it and you're like, wow, I'm just lying to myself by lying to these people about what I think about them. So now I'm just like, basically taking a cue from one of my role models, Chelsea Handler, and just telling it like it is. And if people hate me for it, oh well. That's that's it. Like, I'm no longer going to be nice and be like, oh, it's not your fault. No, it is your fault. Like, yeah, that's what I learned this year. Just say it like it is. Leave it at that. If people hate you because they can't handle certain truth, then oh well. They have issues they need to work out. All right. The last one. Number five, which I saved the best for last because this is a question very dear to my heart. What is your perfect pizza? If anybody knows me personally out there, I love pizza. And not just any kind of pizza, Chicago style pizza. And not just any kind of Chicago style pizza, Luminati's pizza. So good. Oh, I miss it even though we're like three hours away from Chicago, but I miss it. Um, anything from Luminati's as long as it's deep dish. You can put sausage, fine. Pepperoni, fine. Onions and vegetables, fine. Like as long as it's Luminati's deep dish pizza, I will be a happy camper. They are the number one most delicious pizza in my life, ever, in my heart, my pizza heart. So yeah, and if you never had Luminati's pizza, you need to get in your car, get on a plane, go to Chicago, and go get yourself a deep dish pizza from there. It will change your life. It is life-changing. It is life-changing. I ate it before the Chicago Marathon. I swear to God, it made me run faster. At least that's what I think. But yeah, but don't eat too much of it because it's not like the most healthiest pizza in the world. But you treat yourself. If you ran a marathon, go eat some Luminati's pizza if you're in Chicago. All right, so that was my fun Friday Five Q&A. I hope that you got to learn more about me and how crazy and weird I am and why I'm scared of driving and why I learned so much stuff this year about not sugarcoating truths to people and pizza. That was my recap. Did you get that? <laughs> All right, well, it's been fun. It's been real. September Q&A is done. I'll see you in October for the next installment of the Fun Friday Five. Bye. Peace.